Let's talk about racism. Now, I know what you're thinking. What does a white guy know about racism? No, I'm not any kind of mind reader. I just know how funny it could seem that a guy like me would make a video about racism. But I felt inclined to do so, and I'm going to get to why here in just a little bit. The truth is, I don't know a whole lot about being on the receiving end of racism, since I've only experienced it a couple times in my life. And even then, it was mild and did nothing to impact the course of my career or my life. But what I do know about racism is that it exists. I think the first step to solving any problem is to acknowledge that the problem exists to begin with. Let's be honest, a lot of white people are pretty clueless about racism. Most of us just don't understand what it means to be discriminated against because of the color of our skin. We hear about it in the news and we might even know someone who has been impacted by some form of racism. So before we get too deep on the subject, it is imperative that we lay out a clear definition of what racism really is. Merriam-Webster defines racism like this. It is a belief that race is the primary determinant of human traits and capacities and that racial differences produce an inherent superiority of a particular race. This belief that one race is superior to another is one thing that's bad enough in and of itself, but to act on that belief is quite another. We often use the term racism to describe when this happens, but the more proper term is racial discrimination. Discrimination is defined like this. It is the unjust or prejudicial treatment of different categories of people or things, especially on the grounds of race, age, or gender. When we combine a racist point of view with the ability or power to discriminate based on those views, you have racial discrimination. So, so here's the question to ask, why am I talking about this? What what skin do I have in the game, if you don't mind a pun? Well, let me speak the words found in Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. It says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interests of others. If we look beyond our interests to the interests of others, we have to be in the state of mind that is actually interested in what the interests of others is. You don't have to look too long or too hard to see that there are a lot of people in our society that are interested in equality quite highly. Many of them see a long-standing societal injustice in the things that go on. Now, now, I'm not too blind to also see that there are a lot of people in our society that don't believe there's a racial issue at all, and that a lot of the issues that people face are brought on by their own actions. Now, while this very well may be the case in a lot of circumstances, there are an awful lot of people that are speaking from their own experiences and not from their perceptions alone. When people speak from their own experiences, we have a responsibility and a biblically encouraged duty to try to see the issue and address it. Yes, there are people who are going to exaggerate and mistakenly point to episodes of mistreatment as racial discrimination, and that is just something that is going to happen when people are passionate about their beliefs. What we can't do is discount all pleas for help with this issue because of the few people who go overboard. Dr. King's dream is still alive. His dream was for all people to come together as one, but it cannot come to fruition for all people if one part of our society works for it. It is a dream that is worth seeing come to pass, a society where people are treated equally based on their humanity and not discriminated against because of the color of their skin or the content of their culture. And it is possible. It just takes all all of us working together to make it happen. What's your part of the dream? That is really something to pray about, don't you think? Thanks for watching.